Ladies and gentlemen, the guillotine submission comes officially. Two minutes, 32 seconds of round number one. Your winner from Canada, Charles Air Jordan! Mr. DC, how are you? I'm here with Charles Jardin. Yes, sir. Charles, you talked about how mentally prepared you were to be here. Yes, sir. You said that you felt right and that we would have a great performance. Was this the performance you were alluding to? I, when I saw Marc-Andre, my, my buddy from Canada, finish the guy in the first round, I was like, okay, I got a lot of pressure on my back, you know? So we're, we're brothers, but we're competing, you know? And uh, yeah, I'm very glad I get the finish. And, the, Lendo's the hardest guy I've ever fought, and I, I clipped him and went for the finish, so good for me, but yeah, I was scared of the dude. <laughs> Charles, if you take a look up here, yes, sir. you got him in this guillotine choke, and for a long time, you dropped him with the left hand, yes, sir. but then when you jumped on the, on the neck, you kept his left arm. You didn't lock your hands immediately. Yeah. Were you trying to set something else up? Why did it take you so long to go to that lock to finish the fight? Because I go for power guillotine. It's a one-ended guillotine, as you can see. I don't like the double uh, when the, the, the shoulder is there because it's protecting his, uh -huh. his neck. So I like the power guillotine, and as you can see, it's very deep. And yeah, we worked on that. I'm a black belt. People seem to forget, but I, it was a good reminder today. You are one of the funnest fighters in the division. You yes, have sir. now won two fights in a row. Who would you like to see next? Time you step into the octagon. Uh, I, I have a name in mind. I know I'm not ready for ranked or anything, but I would love to face Setson Barbosa, man. I'm a guy who likes striking. I, wa I want to die in there. I want to live let my life in there. And I want to face the best strikers in this division. And don't worry, Edson, I won't try to take you down. It's going to be mano a mano until you die or I die.